welcome to a new weekly reading vlog. Today is December 3rd. It's currently 3.41 p.m. And it's the first day of the Tis the Season-a-thon! So this readathon is hosted by Heather from Bookables um, and a bunch of other YouTubers that I can't remember it right now. So yeah, I already talked about my TBR in my December TBR video, but I'm just going to quickly run down what I'm reading. I'm not going to say what challenges they are. I'll tell you guys that as I'm reading them. But okay, I'm going to tell you guys the order that I'm going to read these books. The first book I'm going to read is Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. I'm going to be starting this today and I'm so excited. I'm also going to be annotating it which is really really exciting. I don't think I'm going to retab it just because I'm running out of tabs. I might add new tabs um, if I have new things to tab but there's that. Then I'm going to jump in to Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Kahn and David Levithan. And I'm thinking The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Jabosky, which is another one that I'm annotating. Um, and then More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. These ones might end up being switched around, I don't really know. That's it for my like official TBR, I'm pretty sure. But I'm also hoping to get through Lord of Shadows this week as well. Um, and also Crest by Marissa Meyer, which is an audiobook that I'm going to be listening to this week. Yeah, that's a lot of books I want to try to read. Let's hope for the best. <laughs> uh, I have to essentially read five books every single week in order to hit my uh, goal of 100 books. So let's hope that I can pull that off. So I'm going to finish uploading last week's reading vlog and then I just filmed a whole bunch of videos so I need to go put that footage into my computer and as I'm like inputting the footage into like Movie Maker and everything I'll be reading during those times where I can't do anything. So I'll update you guys later whenever I get around to actually reading and I have something to say. Hey guys, so it is almost the end. Of the first day of the Tis the Season a thon, it's 11.53 at night. I'm reading Dumplin', loving Dumplin'. Um, the reason why I started it so late was because I filmed so many videos today and then I proceeded to, to edit two out of the three. So I kind of just, I just didn't have the time. I'm currently on page 89 and I'm loving it. I'm annotating it and having just the best, just the best freaking time. I freaking love this book. I love Bo, and I can't wait until Friday so that I can watch the movie a million times. I mean, it is Lorena's birthday, but I'm gonna be watching it at midnight when it comes out, and then I'm going to watch it at the end of the day, maybe with my mom, um, and then I'm probably just gonna like watch it just all the time. Like, it's definitely gonna be a productivity killer. I'm not angry about it. Yeah, I'm hoping to read a huge chunk of this tonight. I am feeling a little bit tired, but that's fine. I'm hoping to maybe get to halfway of this tonight and then just like really quickly um, finish it tomorrow. Um, I don't plan on filming anything tomorrow. Um, I think tomorrow is going to be an editing day. Editing my writing vlog and also the other video that I filmed today, which was my writing update. So I'm going to be editing both of those. Hope I can finish this and start Dash and Lily's Book of Dares, which is my next book. And I have to make sure that I listen to holiday music while I read it. So that's what's happening right now. I'm about to schedule my upload for my December TBR for Wednesday and I'll read this as it's doing its, its thing. I'm gonna update you guys again probably tomorrow. Maybe tonight. I don't know. Also, just a side note is I went on Redbubble to see if there was any What If It's Us stuff on there and there's two stickers. There's one that says Benther and one that has the two um, of them, Arthur and Ben, on it. And it says, I don't know if we're in a love story or a story about love. And I love it so much. So I think um, I might be ordering some stuff off Redbubble after Christmas. <laughs> Okay guys, so it's 1.51 a.m. I've been reading Dumplin'. I'm currently on page um, 215. I'm just slightly over halfway through. Um, I could sip and read for a little bit longer, but I'm just going to go to bed because it's a little late. I'm later than I was wanting to stay up. And I still have to take off all my makeup and 
actually get ready for bed. I want to read The Rest of Dumplin' um, quite early on tomorrow so that I can move on to Dash and Lily's Book of Dairies and hopefully finish that book as well tomorrow so that I can catch up. Yeah, but I'm really loving this reread a lot. Um, I love the story. I love the message. I love all the characters. Um, it's just a really beautiful story. Um, if you haven't read it, I definitely recommend it. Um, yeah, I'm really, I'm sorry if I don't like look excited or enthused. I'm just really tired. I'm loving annotating this book. It's a lot of fun. I'm highlighting a lot of things. I'm um, writing a lot of little notes and such. And uh, it's just a really, a really good time. And I can't wait for the movie. Um, I'm seeing some things from the trailer in the book, which is making me happy. I need to go to bed now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is um, December 4th at 2.46 p.m. Um, and I've been reading for a little while. Um, earlier, my mom came home for a few hours from work, and we decorated a little bit. Um, so let me just show you that quickly. Our living room is a mess because, like, stuff is everywhere, but it's fine. So there's a the Chandler. But we've got our Christmas lights up on our tree. There's also a Joey in the window. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're going to decorate the tree later. Messy, messy, messy. We've got our fireplace thingy. We've got all of our stockings hung, so garland and our stocking hangers. Decorating is not done. Obviously, we need to put the actual ornaments on the tree, which we're going to do tonight. I'm going to try to film some of it for you guys. I do like a time lapse if my family doesn't mind having a camera filming them. But I've been reading for the last little while, and what page am I on now? Page 268. So I'm just going to take a break from reading this for a minute. I'm waiting for my writing vlog footage to import into Movie Maker so that I can edit it. Um, and I have my December TBR scheduled um, for tomorrow. My November wrap-up went up today. So it's been like a relatively productive day. Um, but yeah, so I do want to finish this. I'll hopefully be able to finish this before dinner. I'm almost done, so hopefully I can do it. And then hopefully I'll be able to get through Dash and Lily's Book of Dares tonight. Um, I don't know how fast I'm going to be able to read it, but hopefully quickly enough because I do want to catch up and move on to a new book tomorrow. I guess I'll update you guys probably um, when I finish Dumplin'. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Currently 7.32 p.m. Just finished reading Dumplin'. First book of the Tis a Seasonathon. Um, I freaking loved this book, obviously. Um, I had a really, really fun time annotating it. Um, There's just so many good parts and quotes, and I just, I really, really loved it. Um, I think the next time I read it, I will retap it, just because um, I had to keep taking these little blue um, post-it notes off to read what was underneath them, which is kind of annoying. Um... So yeah, I think I will retab them next time. We just did our Christmas tree as you guys just saw. And now I think I'm gonna go grab Dash and Lily's Book of Dares and read as much of that. My okay, so, so far I'm on page 18 of Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. Um, this one is for the challenge of read a holiday book and also listen to holiday music. So I have a Spotify playlist of Christmas music up on my TV so far. I don't like their writing styles. I don't know. I just feel like they ramble a lot. I just, I don't like it. I didn't have high hopes for this. And I was hoping that by having low expectations that I would end up liking it. But I really didn't like their other novel, Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. But like, if I don't read this one, then that's two challenges that I'm going to have to find a different book for. That I can I'll be reading five books this week. You know? Um, I'm gonna give this book a solid chance though, like I'm gonna read more of it, but I just, so far I'm not a fan of the writing style or the characters, I don't know. I'll update you guys, but I really don't know what I'm gonna do if I don't read this because 
my other holiday books are on my TBR for the next week, which is the Jingleathon. Okay, so it's a few hours later. It's now 10.21. I read only a couple more pages in Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. I'm only up to page 20 now. I think I'm going to put it down, which really makes me angry because I really wanted to give this one a shot. But I think their writing styles just aren't for me. Um, I don't know. I might try and pick it up again during the week, but now I need to figure out an alternate plan for the like, challenges but there is a line on this last page that just rubbed me kind of the wrong way um and kind of like maybe like put it down i was like no nope, i'm watching youtube instead um and it was so lily is, is talking about a conversation she had with her brother and he says lily you just don't understand what you need is someone to keep you occupied you need a boyfriend and then she goes well sure who doesn't need a boyfriend lots of people lots of people don't need a boyfriend you're just invalidating lots of people. So, I don't really feel like reading that. Just, I don't want to waste my time on something that I don't think I'm going to really end up liking. Now I'm stuck between two options. Do I pick up The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky? Or do I pick up More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera? I don't know. Okay, so Perks of Being a Wallflower was Read a Book with Red or Green only cover and then more happy than not was read a short book like i said earlier dash and lily's was supposed to be for holiday music and read a holiday themed book so if i'm deciding that i'm dnfing this book then i need to find a substitute for both of those challenges i mean i could low-key call this a holiday book because it does take place at around Christmas for a chunk of it, but I don't really consider this like a holiday book necessarily. But I could kind of cheat and call it a holiday book. Okay, I'm gonna try and figure something out. I might have to change some of the challenges, um, but I'll come back to you guys. Okay, so I think I'm gonna change both of the challenges only slightly. Um, I don't know if this is gonna count, but I'm gonna count it because I just, I really don't think I'm going to be able to get around to this book. So for read a book whilst listening to holiday music, I think I'm going to change it to just read a book whilst listening to music. I know it's like a holiday themed readathon and so the whole point is to, you know, be festive, but I don't know, I just, I, mean, I could listen to holiday music. It doesn't say that you have to like listen to the music the entire time, so technically I could just put on some Christmas music while I'm in the Christmas portion of this book. So maybe I'll just do that, just read it for the portion of this one. Um, but then for read a holiday themed book, I might change it to read a book that features a holiday, which again is Perks Being a Wallflower. Um, so that means I'll be doing three challenges with this one. I don't know if they have any rules against that, but I'm kind of already breaking the rules here. I think I'm just going to end up just reading, just reading books and not like strictly following challenges. I'm going to pick up one of these right now, I don't know which one. Also The Choice, um, I wouldn't mind trying to finish The Choice because um, I did start that, or continue this th um, over the weekend and I have just an itty, an itty bitty section left. So I wouldn't mind just like knocking this out. Maybe I might actually just jump into this one right now just to kind of finish it off. Um, so that shouldn't take me very long. And then I think I might jump into Perks of Being a Wallflower. Also, Julia um, is in the process of making me a design for What If It's Us on Redbubble so that I can order things like after Christmas with this like design on it. Um, and she's gonna she's gonna try to do Arthur and Ben with like a quote with them and maybe like a watercolor type background. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I hope it turns out well because I really want some What If It's Us merch and there isn't a whole lot of it. Um, like there's so many different like um, Love Simon type um, merch and stickers and stuff. Given there's also a movie for it, but like I'm hoping that like when the What If It's Us movie is made, hopefully soon, um, I'm hoping that there will be some What If It's Us merch, just like there's been a lot of Love with Simon merch. But yeah, like, if Julia makes, like, a really kick-ass design, I would love to maybe get an art print of it, I would love to maybe get a sticker of it, um, and I would love to maybe, um, get, like, a sweater or shirt. Because I'm trash, and I'm so freaking obsessed with this book that I just freaking want it. So I just realized I'm trying to take a Polaroid photo and I wanted to do like a rainbow, 
um, background here and then have What If It's Us sitting in front. Um, but then I realized that I still have my signed copy sticker on the front of the book and I can't take it off myself because my nails will dent the dust jacket and it says one book that I refuse to damage. Um, so I have it till my dad gets home so that he can take it off for me. So I just set this all up until I remember that I couldn't do that. So, great going me. Um, love that. I over my bed and now I gotta just like leave my bookshelf in shambles until my dad can get home and help me with that. I didn't end up finishing The Choice last night because I just got wrapped up in watching um, videos about what if it's us and like in interviews with Becky or interviews between Becky and Adam. I'm so obsessed with what if it's us and I'm not gonna be surprised if I end up picking it up again this month because I really, really want to. I want to finish this really, really quickly. And I'm on page 245. Got this much left. So I'm just gonna quickly, quickly finish this today, and then I guess I'm gonna move on to more happy than not by Adam Silvera. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try and finish this. I'm not really enjoying it, and I don't really know how I'm supposed to rate this book. Cause I've been reading it for nearly two years now, um, just kind of like on and off. So I don't really know how I'm supposed to rate it, cause I don't particularly remember. The first half of this book so I don't know if I think I might just not rate it I don't want to give it a low rating because that doesn't seem fair to the book since it was it's my fault that like I spent so much time away from it um, so I think this is a book that I might just not rate because I think it I think it would get a lower rating than it realistically deserves because I, I love Nicholas Sparks okay I'm like Nicholas Sparks trash um, and I really enjoyed this movie I'm gonna go ahead to reading I have been listening where's my phone um, I have been listening to Cress on audio. Um, I was listening to it while I was doing that and while I was doing my makeup this morning. I, um, so for Cress, I'm now 2 hours and 48 minutes into it. I have 12 hours and 52 minutes left. This is a chunky ass audiobook and I keep forgetting about it. But we're getting to the good stuff. So I'm very excited. Also, back in like September or October, I requested my library on Overdrive to buy the audiobook for City of Ghosts. And they didn't get it, okay? I've requested so many books for them and they never get any of them. But they finally got City of Ghosts. And I'm not in the mood for City of Ghosts. But, like, I guess when you recommend a book, they automatically check it out to you. So now I have City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. And I'm not in a spooky, ghosty kind of mood. But I think I'm going to listen to it anyways once I finish Cress. Just because it's a short book which presumably means it's going to be a short audiobook. I'm assuming it's going to be around like six, six to seven hours, which is relatively short, especially in comparison to this like 15 hour audiobook. Um, so I think I might just listen to it just to like listen to it. Um, and if I enjoy it, then I'll buy myself a copy. But um, yeah, it just kind of sucks that it didn't come in October when I like really wanted to read it. But that's fine. I'm going to go finish this book. I'll update you guys when I'm done and edit a video. It is the plan for today. My dog won't stop barking and I don't know what the hell she's barking at, but like, whatever. finished it's currently 2:45. i'm done finally done it's been two years in the making but i'm finally done i really liked the ending of it for the most part i knew that it was coming because i watched the movie like i said before i don't think i'm gonna write this book just because i think that's unfair to the story itself i do think that even if i had read it without like taking time in between i still think it would have been a least favorite of his books so i'm gonna edit my writing vlog now um and then i'm going to Start more happy than us. I'm gonna try and edit this video as quickly as possible. I do have an hour and 40 minutes of footage to go through, so that's fine, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'll update you guys when it um, develops. Yeah, I don't put my shelves back together. I might as well do a time lapse and be doing that. It 
didn't really turn out. <laughs> okay, what I might do, I just redid my whole shelf. Do I redo it? Maybe I'll just wait till tomorrow. Maybe I'll try it again tomorrow. Because there's some of that on, on my mini that I want to try and do with like um, two of Becky's books and two of Adam's books and having one of its us sitting on top. But like, I really want to have one of these and then write like a little what if it's us quote at the bottom and then put it on my wall. But this is off center because I wanted the rainbow to take up the full frame. And it's also blurry because I think I was too close. I need to add my close up lens. Okay, so I guess I'm redoing that tomorrow. I just wasted a film and I don't have that much. So, love that. <laughs> hey guys, how are you all doing for so the day? It's Friday, December 7th at 2.44 p.m. It's Lorena's birthday today and she's... Should be coming over soon. I'm gonna be watching the Dumplin' movie on Netflix. I already saw it. Um, it was released at midnight last night, and so I watched it, like, I think 10 minutes after it came out, and I loved it, so we're watching it now uh, when she comes over. Yesterday, I think I got a bit of reading done. Did I get any reading done yesterday? I did, but my eyes were hurting, and so I didn't do a lot of reading. I was mainly just watching YouTube and TV um, and uploading my writing vlog, which is live today. Um, and there's two more days in this readathon, and then it's the Jingleathon, and I'm behind. I've only read two books, and I'm supposed to be reading five books a week to hit my goal of 100 books by the end of the year. So my goal is to finish more happy than not today. I'm currently on page 116. So I'm going to start reading this and just read until Lorena comes over, which should be in 15 minutes, but I don't know where she is because she's not replying to my text, but whatever. I'm just going to read this until she comes over. Hopefully finish it today. I don't know how well that's going to go. Going out for Lorena's birthday, probably for most of the night. And then when I come home, I wouldn't mind watching Dumplin' with my mom. Maybe. I mean, we could, we could just watch it tomorrow. Um, we'll see, but maybe we'll just watch tomorrow because watching it three times in one day is a little excessive. <laughs> maybe we'll just watch it tomorrow, but tomorrow I work eight hours. I work 11 to 7 and I'm not looking forward to it. This week just like flew by and it just like escaped my fingertips. Like I don't know where it went. Hello. Um, she's actually being friendly. I don't really know how it's gonna go this week and next week. I'm hoping I can get a lot of reading done next week. Um, I don't really know how it's going to go. I'm still listening to Cress as well. I was listening to it while I was getting ready this morning. Um, but then for some reason I didn't download all of the parts and so it stopped. Which was annoying. But I downloaded the parts but then I was already listening to music and I'm like, whatever. I'm 3 hours and 15 minutes into it. So I have 12 hours left. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this before the readathon ends. Um, I guess it kind of just depends on how much I listen to it. I can try my best. I'll update you guys later.